Chill is in the centre of the West Lancashire Plain, right in the heart of the North West. The college's spacious grounds and gardens are just half a mile from the medieval market town of Ormskirk, a small friendly community where students are very much a part of day-to-day -day life. seaside resort of Southport is only 30 minutes from campus and is a temporary home for many Edge Hill students living off campus. Its mix of traditional seaside attractions and modern malls makes Southport a popular shopping venue too. bustling city of Liverpool with its restored Albert Dock, northern home of the Tate Gallery. also home of the original Edge Hill College back in 1885. Funded by private subscription, it was the first non-denominational teacher training college in the country. For 75 years, Edge Hill was an all-women's college. In fact, no men were allowed over its threshold until 1924. In 1932, Edge Hill moved from Liverpool to its present site near Ormskirk. Today there are over 5,000 at Edge Hill and the campus provides a pleasant environment in which to study for a degree. There are several halls of residence on site, housing around 800 mainly first year students. Some halls like John Dalton and Lady Margaret are part of the main college building, whilst others like Eleanor Rathbone, Lady Openshaw and Catherine Fletcher are part of a modern residential complex. Hill is a university sector college and so all its degrees are awarded by Lancaster University. The university is just three miles south of the historic city of Lancaster in the north of the county and set in 250 acres of beautiful parkland. Life on the Lancaster campus is centered around the colleges which are the focus of academic and social life. walkway, or spine as it's called, runs the entire length of campus, connecting all the colleges, teaching and recreational facilities. The most visible landmark on campus is Boland Tower, which overlooks Alexandra Square. Named after the university's chancellor, Princess Alexandra, Alexandra Square is at the heart of the university. It's a meeting place, a marketplace with its shops and banks, and whatever else you want it to be. The highlight of the academic year is undoubtedly the degree ceremonies. And for all students of Edge Hill and their families, we hope you'll want to remember this unique day. A mixture of achievement, ceremony and informality. Sales wrapping, creating the right impression. Oh, <laughs> 
the whole veg hill can <laughs> 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 Let's now move inside the University Great Hall for the ceremony itself, starting with the fanfare and academic procession. I declare the congregation open. Vice Chancellor, graduands of Edge Hill College of Higher Education and Blackpool and the Fylde College, parents, relatives, friends. It is always a great pleasure to welcome a group of graduands to one of our academic congregations and to extend that welcome to the relatives and friends who have come to share in the pleasures of this uniquely joyful occasion. Degree days do mark a decisive moment of reflection, of fulfilment, most of all perhaps of anticipation. For your success today foreshadows great opportunities for tomorrow. This is the twelfth and final degree ceremony at Lancaster this summer. And on this occasion we welcome both old friends and new. 
Our links with Edge Hill go back to the early 1970s, whereas our formal ties with Blackpool and the Fylde have only recently been established. I have no doubt that the model relationship, which we have enjoyed for over 20 years with Edge Hill, will likewise characterise our developing association with Blackpool and the Fylde College. So on behalf of the university, on this unique and I hope truly memorable occasion, I offer my warmest congratulations to this afternoon's graduates from the colleges of Edge Hill and Blackpool and the Fylde as you become the latest members of an elite club. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate, I present these members of Edge Hill College of Higher Education who are worthy to receive first degrees of the university. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Helen Jane Avery. Lisa Ann Black. Karen Michelle Buckley. Sarah Louise Firth. Richard John Goodworth. Mark Grundy. Melanie Handford. Lee Hardcastle. Amanda Claire Howarth. Robert David Kelsall. Janet Lennon. Carl James Maddock. Susie Jane Mansa. Anne McGregor. Stephen John Roden. Carol Ann Schoen. Nicola Leslie Smith. Kirsty Elizabeth Whitmore. For the degree of Bachelor of Science, Henry Ull Ardvold. K. Elizabeth Adams. Stephen Graham Allison. Stephen Allmark. John Anderson. Emma Jane Andrusi. Julie Bernadette Ashwell. Michael Stephen Atkinson. Frank Kenneth Townsend Ordwa. Andrew Brian Bailey. Raymond Lee Baker. Ian Baldwin. David William Banks. Colin Barton. Nicholas James Beatty. Christopher Paul Bays. 
Paul Jeremy Thomas Biddis. Jonathan James Boardman. Elizabeth Angela Bracken. Leslie Alice Brett. Michael Anthony Bullen. Matthew John Byron. Michelle Cheeseman. Roger Ian Clark. James Edward John Clay. Stephen Coakley. Denise Joan Cochran. Claire Helen Conway. Matthew Cook. Penelope Jane Copleston. Austin Edward Cornell. Jonathan Matthew Cox. Pippa Louise Craddock. Andrew Dodd. Helen Dolman. Sarah Jane Davis. Graham Hugh Doherty. Michael Stephen Drohan. Benjamin Robert Dummer. Paul Douglas Eaton. Jane Eckersley. Richard Edwards. Susan Edwards. Duncan Craig Elson. Sharon Emery. James William Evans. Jeff Flint Finnan. Andrew Roger Fisher. Ruth Francom. Carol Fryer. Stuart James Geddes. Timothy Joseph Jeffrey Gibson. Elizabeth Golding. Cara Louise Greenwood. Jane Ann Gray. Jonathan William Douglas Grice. Jane Groom. Paul Guthrie. Carolyn Ann Hall. Raymond Halton. Anne Louise Hargreaves. Natalie Helen Harland. Andrew Hartley. Jane Hartshorn. Alison Mary Harvey. Victoria Jane Marshall. Samuel Thomas McDonough. Stephen McIntosh. 
Ain Mayor McLaughlin. Carisha Mercer. John Francis Merrion. James Robert Middleton. Kerry Joanna Maria Monks. Raymond Brian Moore. Jamie Moorfoot. Lisa Joan Mosses. <laughs> Jennifer Bridget Mulcalli. Jeanette Ann Newman. Philip John Nixon. Graham Michael Norton. Kerry O'Connor. Darren James O'Malley. Nicole O'Neill. Alison Raylia Parsons. Gillian Pearson. Duncan Poyser. Philip Adrian Quintine. Ian Colin Ramsden. Linda Mary Roberts. Patricia Roberts. Irene Ryan. Ryan Michael Scotter. Stephen John Seal. Martin Hill Sharper. Melanie Shinton. Christopher John Short. Fleur Louise Slater. Andrew Davidson Smith. Jacqueline Ann Southall. Louise Victoria Spanner. Michelle Louise Spall. Warren Stark. Jason Stinson. Peter Allen Wesley Stoughton. Andrew John Taggart. Andrew James Taylor. Emma Elizabeth Tier, Linda Helen Telfer, Stephen James Thomas, Philip Mark Todd, Christopher David Tuck. Sarah Joanne Wade. Martin John Wayne. Melanie Wakelin. David Allen Waring. Paul Wharton, Joyce Wilcock, Karen Wilding, 
Mark John Williams. Stephen John Williams. Gillian Elizabeth Wilson. Lindsay Wilson. Lee James Davis. Lee James Davis. By my authority as Vice-Chancellor, I confer upon these members of Edgehill College of Higher Education the degrees for which they have been presented. Vice-Chancellor.